Uh, spent my teen years here in the Bronx. Uh, my parents are Puerto Rican. Uh, we had a big family. And um, I've lived here now for about 14 years in the Hunts Point section of the South Bronx. Where we are is at BAD, it's the Bronx Academy of Arts and Dance, and as you can see the acronym is B-A-A-D, BAD. Um, it's a play, we're playing around with that, we're playing around with what is BAD. We're playing around with the reputation of the Bronx, the Bronx being BAD, but the Bronx in, in um, when you say that something is BAD, and you put two A's on it with an exclamation point, you're actually saying that it's good, it's really good. Seven, eight, thirty-nine, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight. Okay, you want to do with that? We took kids from the street and we drug them into the room and we uh, played around with them and you know danced around and bounced around. So, you're probably wondering why am I doing this kind of dance instead of hip hop when I live right here in the Bronx. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Is when I was growing up, while hip hop was happening, when it was being developed back in the 1970s and 80s, it was oppressive to me. Why? Because I'm a gay guy. Bad is a place that um, presents works that we feel are empowering to women people of color, and the lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual community. And uh, that's a social justice mission. But we do it through art. We do it through dance. We do it through theater, uh, song, um, and, and many different kinds of ways in which to express ourselves. And our community comes out for it. And sometimes people um, uh, love it. Sometimes they question it. Sometimes they think it's strange. But we like that kind of dialogue. Well, the kind of people that are coming here to BAD are curious about strange, weird things. Four, five, six, seven, eight, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, two, three, He four, often five, says, oh, don't get too hip-hoppy. I, I do sometimes, so I got to, you know, stretch, go outside of the box and do what I wouldn't do when I'm used to that genre. Because usually when I come over here in this area, in this section, because I go from here to the train station, I don't really see much. I mean, I see, sometimes I'll see crazy people walking around late at night, depending on what time I'm coming from the studio. But I keep to myself and I keep it walking. Mm -hmm. I don't see too many, I mean, one time I saw somebody, but it was like, Oh, that's right. I forgot I'm a hunt's point. <laughs> you know. Well, there's a lot, lots of people here that definitely do have a hard time, you know, uh, surviving. But I, I value the uh, quality of life in this area.